My name is Usha. I come from Slovenia, where I was born and raised, but I am living in the Netherlands for about two years now. Um, I am a multidisciplinary artist with a background in fine arts. Definitely as a maker, I wouldn't say that I focus on specific media. On the contrary, I actually usually submit the media to, to the project that I'm working on. So that is everything from object-based installations to video interactive installations. And lately I'm especially focusing on sound. Maybe the red line of my work would be rather than described as the content of the work, which is especially for the last three or four years now focused on, on space and how we perceive space and what does it mean to actually be thrown into space. Um, it all started for me with the passing of my father and actually revisiting uh, his apartment in which he also grew up in uh, and uh, ultimately passed away in. So it was, it was a special space for me as well. As since we were separated, I wasn't really, I haven't been in, the, in that apartment for quite some time. It, it might be even around 10 years. So after I revisited this space, it felt really odd. So from this ambivalent experience, from this ambivalent uh, feeling that I got, which was on one hand, a uh, really close connection to it, of course, it was my immediate family. And on the other hand, it was it felt really dissociating. So out of this emotional response, I actually started to research and become really, really curious about how we understand spaces especially in connection to nostalgia, in connections to artifacts and uh, carriers of history, so to speak. And definitely on the question on how do you do it, I could reply in the sense of by perhaps by observing. So it's really paying constant attention to, to my environment and understanding how we react to it. I get inspired by moving around in space and I don't mean that necessarily physically moving uh, but of course that that plays also a huge role but also just trying to investigate different uh, understandings of space and I would say that my practice is mostly mapping these processes so it's really in a way archiving but not in this not, not, not in the broader meaning of the word per se so these are all inspirations that kind of uh, spark my interests and definitely especially in connection to time and uh, questioning belongings and where is your space and what does it mean is it something that is inherently connected to our being or is it something that we just construct because we are thrown into it so who are we without this context in which we move um so for the distance for the uh, for the distance 2021 so for the lacuna festival i submitted uh, this duo or let's say three part video actually uh, the first part is a video which is taken from my family archive it was shot by my father from we traveled a lot with our family so i selected only the landscapes part of the videos and kind of combined them in this one uh, one sort of memory landscape environmental video and on the other side there is a animation of a drawing that I made which was part of the project tracking guide which is also the title of this video it was made uh, in the residency that I did in Tilburg which is a city in the Netherlands that I was not really familiar with it was a perfect opportunity to actually try to uh, execute this project that I had in my mind for quite some time. So becoming from a visitor to inhabitant of space. So for the starting point of this project, I, I took this analogy, which is basically when you move into a new apartment and there is a tipping point when you have enough muscle memory and spatial memory where you can just go to the toilet in the night without turning the lights on. So you, you basically walk strictly intuitively and you don't bump into anything anymore. Uh, and then the third part, part of the video was a description of the path that I was taking. So this drawing was actually a result of uh, every day taking the same walk through the same path and trying to remember it. So after I came back to the art space every day, I, I worked on this drawing to try to, to get it as 
accurate in quotations uh, as I possibly can. Of course, the map I drew was not accurate at all. It was subjective. It had a lot of uh, different details that I remembered from a particular location, maybe more than on the other sides of the path. And it's strictly because our memories are constructed in a subjective way. So the, the description was made at the last day of my residency and it's a memory walk through the same path that I took every morning while being there. So the distance is really apparent in sense of spatiality as well as in sense of temporality. 